Since I started using Notion, I've consistently increased my productivity, not because of motivation or even discipline, but because of the systems I've created for myself. And in this video, I'm going to share one of those systems with you and show you seven ways you can do the same. Number one, create a focus room. For optimal focus, I would recommend creating a dedicated focus room that you can click on and go to where there's nothing that can distract you from your work. In this focus room, you can obviously add whatever you want as long as it's helping you to stay focused, like the six other methods I'm going to share in this video. And all six of these methods are added inside of this focus room template, which you can grab for yourself through the first link in the description. Number two, create a daily focus list. In the focus room template, you can click on focus block to create a new focus block for today. And here you want to click on focus list in order to add the top three tasks that you absolutely need to get done for today. No more, no less. Only three tasks which will help you stay focused on what will actually move the needle forward and prevent you from getting overwhelmed. An easy way to do this is to just create a button with three checkboxes inside that you can click each day to fill out and complete your daily focus list and then just add this button to your daily focus block. Number three, use a Pomodoro timer. To stay focused while you work, you can use the Pomodoro technique, which is pretty straightforward. You work for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break, which will help your brain stay fresh and focused. And it's important that when you take a break, you focus on recovering and not relaxing. So don't pick up your phone and start scrolling, but go outside and get some fresh air. Now to get the Pomodoro timer inside of Notion, you just wanna find one online, copy the link, and then just go into Notion, paste it as an embed, and you can resize it if it's necessary. And this one that I have, you can also change the way it looks. So I can change the theme. And yeah, I will leave a link to this one in the description below. Number four, set up a distraction log. Over time, you'll start to notice patterns and what is causing the distraction so that you can become aware and remove the root cause of the distraction, which would be by removing the trigger. And you'll also start to realize the amount of time that you're actually wasting and more importantly, the opportunity cost, which is everything that you could have done with that time. To create a distraction log, you can just create a simple table and add in four columns, one for the distraction, one for the amount of time, and then two more for the cause and effect, aka the trigger and the opportunity cost. So to just give an example, let's say the distraction was Instagram. Let's say the total time that you spent was 40 minutes. The cause or the trigger was a notification on your phone. And what you could have done with that time is, for example, go to the gym. So in this example, you want to remove Instagram's notifications in order to remove this distraction. Ideally, you just delete Instagram from your phone, but I know some people are heavily addicted to the dopamine, so it's not going to be possible. But at least if you remove the notifications, you'll spend less time on Instagram and you'll have more time to do things like going to the gym. Number five, protect your attention. Turn off notifications while you work. When you're starting a new focus block, make sure that your phone is on airplane mode and out of sight. And if you're around other people, just let them know that you'll be working and to not interrupt you. Creating this boundary of protecting your attention while you work is super important for increasing your focus and boosting your productivity. And what I've done inside of Notion is fairly simple. Inside of the focus block database, when you create a new focus block, I've just added an airplane mode checkbox property. So when you start a new focus block, you'll be reminded to put your phone on airplane mode. And what I personally do and would recommend is to put your phone on airplane mode before you go to sleep, and then you're only allowed to turn it off the next day once you've completed your three daily tasks. Number six, create a productivity journal. At the end of each day, take five minutes to reflect on what worked and what didn't. How productive were you that day and how many tasks did you complete? Reflect on everything that increased and decreased your productivity throughout the day so you can build your awareness and spot patterns in your behavior and fix it. So for example, let's say you got some bad sleep, so your productivity score for today was only a five out of ten, and let's say the cause of your bad sleep is because you scrolled on Instagram last night and you also did not wear your blue light blockers. So in order to fix your bad sleep what you're going to do is you're going to delete instagram from your phone and you're also going to add wearing your blue light blockers to your notion habit tracker so you can build the habit of wearing these every single night so to create a productivity journal like this you just create a new database and here i've added a button which will create a new database entry and also open it up these are the properties the task completed buttons will add numbers to the task completed property and it will show a percentage same with the productivity score so here it will show the total productivity score and then you just have call out boxes for your three different prompts. And the key with this productivity journal is it's quick and easy. There's not 20 different prompts and questions. Like it's just three questions which are also quick to fill out and then you just click the buttons. So the key to this is to just make it quick and easy to fill out, make it effortless and that way you might actually do it every single day. Number seven, create a weekly checklist. Just as you write down your top three daily tasks, you also want to write down your top three weekly goals. 
As long as you're completing these three tasks every week, you know that you're making progress. These can be tasks, projects, goals, doesn't really matter as long as you make sure that you hit them every week. And as you can see here, I've done the exact same as the daily focus list. So this is also just a button with three checkboxes inside. Number eight, focus enhancing music. A bonus one on this list is to listen to binaural beats or music that will increase your focus. I would recommend checking out brain.fm as this is what I'm personally using and what I would also recommend. Here you simply just click on focus and music will start to play based on your preferences. So you can change your preferences and you can also add a timer and also have a Pomodoro timer inside of brain.fm. So this will start to tick off and then it will play a sound. It will show break time and then it will play a sound when that's finished as well. The songs on brand.fm doesn't have any words or lyrics that can get stuck in your head and it's also much better than listening to music on YouTube because as soon as you open up YouTube, you increase the chances of you getting distracted. And what I've done inside of Notion is just create a button with the open page or URL option and then I just paste it in the brand.fm link. So as soon as I click this, it takes me to brand.fm. In the description below, I will leave a link to brand.fm, this Pomodoro timer, as well as this focus room template in case you want to get this for yourself if you found this video useful then be sure to give it a like and if you want to master notion then be sure to check out this next video for a full notion course